Alright, welcome to my channel. This is Isbu Store, and what I do here: solve technical drawing problems and also provide very important information that you can make yourself for you to a better performance in your technical drawing examinations. You are watching my video for the first time. Thank you, and I want to ask that you subscribe to this channel as technical drawing student. Uh, share these videos with your friends who are technical drawing students, and also other videos that I've made. Help me to share them with your friends, and also very important that you need to practice this subject this is a practical subject when you practice it you become a master at it now um these are figures that you see here or this diagram that you see here i want to show you how to uh, solve this problem in case you come across a problem like this and you are wondering how do i go about it so i want to show you how to go about it how to solve it and as we have here that Three views of a block are shown. Draw it in oblique projection with face A parallel to the plane of projection. Okay, so these are views that have been talked about, and they are said they said that they are given in first angle projection. Okay, they, are, they don't even mention that, and they said that we have three views. So this is the front elevation, this is the plan. And this is the end elevation. So we are asked to draw the view. We are asked to draw the block, the, the block in oblique projection. We are asked to do, draw the block in oblique projection, and that's what I want to do now. So now I believe that you know what we mean by oblique projection. So it's a kind of pictorial drawing in which the receding axis uh, uh, is one, and then it is inclined at an angle 45 degrees to the horizontal projection plane so the first thing that we need to do here is to draw the horizontal line okay so then we are making use of our 45 degrees set square instead of 30 that we do use for isometric uh, projection so we are making use of 45 degrees set square so what we need to do first because this is a feature here and we need to make sure we can see this clearly so this is the end elevation that by the time we are looking at it in this direction so we are going to see this shape so we must ensure that we are able to see this part okay very well and we are told that this one so this front elevation is parallel to the horizontal projection plane so horizontal projection plane is this it means that we have to have this shape this shape here we have to have it as it looks here on this surface so let's first of all work on that so what we need to do now is to just come around here then we draw a vertical line like this okay so i will take the measurement so the total length is 70 millimeters as we have it so i'll take a measurement of 70 millimeters so this is 70 millimeters here and i will draw a vertical line here draw a vertical line and also total distance from here up is 40 millimeters so that is i will take 20 20 for me to get the midpoint so this is 20 and this is also 20 millimeters so here i'm going to draw horizontal center line because of the circle so i will draw horizontal center line here okay so then here i'm going to so join this together with this so the next thing that i'm going to do is to uh, bring out this shape that we have here i bring out this shape so as we have here so distance from here to here is five millimeters and from here to here is 16 millimeters so i will come to the midpoint so i'll come to the midpoint here and take eight millimeters up and eight millimeters down that is 16 millimeters so and then I will come here and take a measurement of five millimeters. So this is five millimeters. So here I'm going to draw a vertical line up here. So then, so with my T square, I will draw this line to meet this line. And I will also draw this line to meet this line here. So the next thing that we have here, so we need to locate the midpoint so of this total 70, which is 35 from year to year, for us to draw the circle. So I will take a measurement of 35 millimeters from this end here. So this is 35 
millimeters so here i'm going to draw a vertical line so i will draw a vertical center line like this okay so that's vertical center line so the next thing i'm going to draw it do here is to draw a circle so you draw the circle so the uh, diameter of that is 30 so the radius is 15 i will take 15 millimeters I put it at this point here then i will draw a circle i think um okay all right okay so that's circle that we have drawn so the next thing that I'm going to do here before I can do anything further is for me to uh, take my cell square, 45 degree cell square, set it along this line. As I said that, that feature on this part that we see on the end elevation must be clearly seen. So I will draw a line at 45 degree cell by 45 degree to this side. And I will also, from this point here, I will also draw the line to this side also from this point so i will draw it to this side and from this point i will also draw it to this side then coming to this side here i will also draw the line in this direction all right so let's get the uh, length so distance from here to here as we have in the plan is 30 millimeters so we are coming to this side so we are coming here to take that 30 millimeters. So if I take a measurement of 30 millimeters from here to here, so I will terminate it here. So what I need to do here now, wait. So I'm going to draw a vertical line. So here I will draw a vertical line. So this is a vertical line from here to here. So then here I'm going to draw um, at this point, at this point, there is a line that I'm going to see at this point. I'm going to see a line at this point. So just think about what we see there. But before that, so I'm going to so draw a horizontal line from this point. From this point, I will draw a horizontal line with my T-square like this. Okay, so then um, from this point... I will draw a line, draw a line in this direction, I want to make sure I can see the line, so I will draw a line in this direction to meet this line, so wherever it touches this line, so I will draw a vertical line up to meet this line, so wherever it meets this line I will take it up, sorry, uh, that will not be 30, that will not be 30, so I need to take a measurement of 30 millimeters again from this point so this is 30 millimeters so that cannot it can work so by the time i bring out the shape with thick line we'll be able to see it clearly so next thing i'm going to do is to transfer this line to the other side so i can make this line thick at once so i can make this a thick line like this okay so we have that so the rest of what i'm supposed to do is to make these lines thick lines so this line is a thick line so this line here is a thick line so i'm going to pause the video and bring out the shape so that uh, it won't take us much time all right this is how it will look so I've done it as I did it here. It's as simple as I've done it. All you need to do is to practice. And this view is an oblique uh, view of this uh, block. So keep on practicing and God bless you. Thank you.